Hey, it's Dougie Wood, and I've been a SharePoint solution architect for the past 15 years. In fact, for the past couple of years, I've been recognized as a Microsoft MVP, which is an award given to me for sharing my knowledge with you via this YouTube channel. Now, today I'm going to be talking to you about SharePoint lookup columns and how you can use data that you have in list to tag against your specific documents to help with filtering by, say, customer or other types of data. So let's jump in. So a good example of this is when you want to look up information from another SharePoint list to use as a column, like a tag, essentially, of your documents. Now, I've got a use case, for example, where I've got this project management SharePoint team, and in their documents, what they want to be able to do is tag the relevant client or customer that they are working with on that project. So then they can filter all of their documents by a customer from a centralized list, which is maintained not necessarily by the, the column itself. Um, there's a couple of reasons why you might want to do this. It might be that that list is being used to maintain multiple different areas, document libraries lists. So I'm going to apply it to, for example, my documents library, but I could also apply it to my issue tracker, or my project tracker list. Uh, and then I have one list of customer names that I've got a centralized place to maintain. Now, I need to start off by creating my customer list that I'm going to use uh, to look up to. So by clicking on the cog across the top right corner, I'm going to click on the site contents. And this is just going to show you essentially all the, the areas that I could apply this list to. So in the documents, um, issue tracker, progress tracker, events list, things like that. So I'm going to click on new and then list. Now, there is a whole bunch of different templates that you can choose. Um, say, for example, uh, we've got the uh, creating from blank, which basically is just a list format or form, galleries, calendars, or board. I could import, so if I had the data, say the customer data as a spreadsheet, an Excel document, CSV, or an existing list, I could import that from somewhere else. Also, you can see there's a whole bunch of different kind of templated lists. So depending on what it is that you're looking up, would depend how you start on creating this list. But I'm just going to create a blank list. It's just going to be a very simplistic list of customer names. So by clicking on, uh, clicking on this, it's then going to say, what do I want to call this? So I'm going to call this my customer list. Um, and I want it to show in the list site navigation on the left-hand side. So I'm going to leave this box ticked and then click on create. So this is then going to work its magic in the background. It's going to create me a blank SharePoint list. Um, and then I can add any columns into it. So um, I might want to pull through different things about the customer, say, for example, um, like their location or something like that. So there's different columns that we can we can choose um, in our uh, SharePoint list. But this isn't necessarily a full demonstration of creating SharePoint lists. Um, so I'm not going to go into all of them. But some of the key ones um, are text, so a single line of text, a choice, whether it's uh, whether, let's say, for example, is this a... Um, different types types of clients and to choose what what are they or what industry are they from are they from legal or um are they from manufacturing or whatever uh, that might be we've got date and time um we probably wouldn't necessarily use in this case multiple lines of text which is i say descriptions and things like that or we can tag people against it so it might be who is the uh, account manager um, from our organization which deals with them um and i say there's a couple of things like um location images uh, things like that that we might want to pull through. Yes, no. Are they um, a certain type of customer? Yes or no, um, as like a little checkbox. Um, so I'm just going to say for, for now text, and I'm going to have this to be the location um, as something that's quite simple. Now, of course, we can add into this as many columns as we realistically would like to have. Then I'm just going to either click on Add New to add a new item, or you can click on Edit in Grid which puts the SharePoint list into kind of like a spreadsheet. Uh, and then we can just type in, so for example, Contoso, location might be London. Oops, that didn't work. There we go. Um, and then we might just say, I don't know, fake stone, maybe there in Manchester. Um, made up, Stone. Uh, and maybe they are in New York. Um, so there we go. And now all I need to do is click on Exit Grid View, and then I've got my customer list now. So I've got my customer list of data, of customer names, and their locations. So let's now go back into our document library here, and we can now choose to add that lookup into this particular library. So if I click on Add Column, 
and then scroll down. The from second to last here we have this lookup. So this is uh, I say make a column from one list become the choice in another list column. So I'm click on next, and then I'm going to call this customer. So this is my customer column, and I've got my type here. So it's a lookup, and um, select a list as a source. So I need to select my customer list, and then select a column from the list above. So these are the different columns which are essentially going to pull through. Um, now, I'm just going to select title for now, and I'll show you why in a moment. Um, but you can also choose to say add additional columns from this list. So the title will be the name of the customer, but I also want to pull through, for example, the location. So the that additional column that we created, we can also pull that through. So we can use this, again, for like filtering afterwards. Um, so once I'm happy with that, um, there's a load of other options down here. We don't really necessarily need to know about them. Um, the only one which might be, well, two that might be useful is allowing multiple selections if you wanted to say maybe this project based on multiple customers, but that never really happens in a lot of scenarios, um, in this case anyway, uh, or require this column contains information. So you probably would want to do that to make sure that it was flagging, um, and you'll see in a moment, it will basically make all the other um files and folders which haven't got a customer tagged quite obvious visually. Um, so there we go. Um, so now we've got um, our customer and our customer location. Now all we need to do is update all of these. So again, by selecting this, you can see I've now got my drop down. So I've got Contoso, Fakestone, Made Upston, and then, or if I could have one like a, an Excel, I can always just choose just to drag this down. And again, you can see this automatically updating as we're going along. Um, Nice and simple. So click on exit grid view, and there we go. So now we can use this um, as a filter. So say, for example, I'm only interested in fake stone as a customer, and I want to see all of the kind of projects we're working on with them. I can filter by fake stone, click on apply, and there we go. We've got all our fake stone. And in fact, if I wanted to send a link like this to a uh, uh, an employee, or if I wanted to come back to this later on, I can even save this as a view. So if I click on the drop down, clicking on save view as, and I'll call this uh, fake stone, I could call it fake stone documents or fake stone project or something like that. Um, and then there you go. So now I can jump between my all documents view, which is all documents, or only going to um, the ones which are, uh, I say for fake stone. And, and that applies actually for, for customer location as well. So say for example, I was only interested in seeing projects we're working on in Manchester, I can filter that and there you go. I can then see the projects which are, are based in Manchester. So it's really simple, uh, really easy to use. Super simple to apply. So we can apply this as say to document libraries, or if I wanted to, I could go into a another SharePoint list and I could apply it inside of the, the SharePoint list. Again, it's exactly the same process. Click on add column, scroll down to the lookup, set the lookup column type in the name of the column, which in this case is customer. It's looking up, make sure it looks up the customer list. We're pulling through the title, click on save, and there we go. So uh, either by um, editing in grid view or by clicking on add new item to open up the new item form, either way it's gonna work exactly the same. Um, but you can see we pull through, then we've got Contoso here. And I say, if we wanted to, we could pull through location or any of the additional fields if we chose to add any more into that customer list. If you need any professional help setting up your SharePoint, there's a link in the description below to contact me. Please also like this video and subscribe to my channel for more SharePoint content.